I had always wanted to study abroad. The US had always kind of enticed me. I'm Angeline Jaichandra and I'm currently in the United States of America. I'm originally from Chennai in India and that's where I spent almost 27 years of my life. I really did uh, begin coding when I was 11. My parents enrolled me in uh, coding classes when I was in sixth grade where I learned to write command line programs. It was then when I realized that I could really do this. I did really well academically. I was the eighth rank holder in another university. I knew that I wanted to get my master's in computer science and I also knew that I wanted to actually specialize in human-computer interaction. I wanted to pursue my master's degree in the US and I had a small child whom I definitely would not be able to bring with me. My mother told me that it was going to be a really, really difficult road but I should not give up and my father told me that he was proud of me. It was really difficult studying for the uh, GRE and the TOEFL examinations because I, on one hand I had sleepless nights with a toddler and I honestly had no sleep whatsoever but um, I was confident in myself that I could do well because I was working really hard. I knew that I wanted to do this on my own terms. I did not want my parents to finance me. It was to be my own effort entirely. My parents were a little skeptical and doubtful of course um, because they had never heard of a company which would just give you a loan and the entire process was online and I did not have to give them a collateral. I just needed to tell them that this my credit standing is good and that I got into a great school. I knew that I was going to be all set for my first semester here at Georgia Tech. I was really skeptical about roommates to be honest but I found best friends in my three roommates. I think I have been very lucky uh, that my work paid off and I could come to this amazing school and for sure it was made possible because of Prodigy. I honestly never thought that I would be graduating with my master's when I turned 30. I never stopped dreaming and I never will and no one should ever stop dreaming.